we want to present about our say about controversial controversial issue of abortion. But first of all, let us introduce ourselves. My name is Amila Margaret Bima. And my name is Nabila Bimisa. Uh, now Nabila's turn to uh, speak up about the introduction of abortion. Okay, so um, what we are going to talk about here is actually about the abortion controversy. In here, we are going to hear several opinions from the specialists that has observed about um, the abortion in the world. And also we will hear several uh, several researchers that say anything about abortion itself. So as we know that abortion is, for some people abortion is the, the right thing to do if you don't want to, if you don't want to have a baby after you do after you have sex with your significant other. Not only the teenagers who, uh, who have done this abortion thing, well, most of them are teenagers, but uh, some women who is like uh, adult also do the abortion after they have sex. So here, right now, we will hear like several, uh, several pros and cons about the abortion controversy itself. So the first reason why abortion is like controversial will be dealt with by amount. Okay, and I want to tell you about the first reason because uh, many women say that abortion is safe. Uh, it has been argued that choosing abortion is a woman's right that shouldn't be limited by government or by religious authority or everything like that. Uh, they said that pregnant women will resort to unsafe illegal abortion. It is claimed that abortion that done by the doctors are safe because what? Because only one people are is feel sick because of abortion. Uh, they claim that the safest timing for an abortion is usually during the, during the first trimester. However, uh, depend on the research, the research they said that the most pain, the most time to feel the pain is during the first trimester because uh, uh, because it needs three until four weeks to heal after you have abortion. Uh, not only that, after you have an abortion, you have to uh, you have to take some rest and. You cannot do or having sex in that time, in that period. Maybe it takes until two or two or three months because of that. And then after you uh, you heal or after you become better, you have to wait uh, until several months or several weeks to to to, to have sex again. And then uh, if you want to have sex, you have to use condom or contraception to to make. Uh, to make uh, it better. So now another reason why abortion is controversial is just about because um, the abortion itself relates to the country's economy. Well, here I'm going to read you about a research that says the statement. So the Congress, the Congressional Budget Office or CBO, evaluated and proposed anti-abortion bill that would ban all abortion nationwide up to 20 weeks of pregnancy and found that the resulting additional birth would increase the federal deficit by $225 million over nine years due to the increased need for medicine coverage. Also, since many women seeking later abortions are economically disadvantages, their children are likely to require welfare assistance. So this argument goes, abortion reduces welfare costs to taxpayers for the women. However, the Canada Fee Press research claimed that a baby born today is an American worker in the future, which means contributions to the overall economy. In France, grow up to not only work but also pay taxes. The higher population means the higher tax contributions to the government. The Canada Fee Press also claimed when abortion being legalized, the financial impact of those Americans not working on contributing to society would have cost as much as 27 trillion dollars in lost tax revenue and it gives that impact to the countries and the economy to the economy so it means that abortion will uh, uh, decrease the economy of the country if the abortion itself has uh, i mean if a lot of people in the country have done the abortion so the next argument the next argument is about the perspective on sexual and reproductive health health Many human who choose abortion do not have the financial research to support the, ch the children. 42% uh, of humans say that having abortion uh, is is the better is the better way to to keep in the high level because they want to keep their career, their education in the high level. Uh, 
because they see if they have children, it will disrupt uh, their career. Uh, however, if women become pregnant, they should accept the responsibility that comes with producing a child. This argument goes, people need, need, need to take the responsibility for their action and accept the consequence. Having sexual intercourse, even when contraceptive methods are used, carries with it risks or, or pre pregnancy. Furthermore, the unborn baby shouldn't be punished for a mistake uh, that have done by the adults. If humans are unprepared to take care of the children, at least they have to put the children into the uh, into the adoption place, or maybe they can ask other people to take care of their children. They shouldn't be punished the baby for the mistakes that they've done. Now we continue the uh, the reason. So after hearing like some arguments from the specialists and from the researchers that has done that have been done, uh, we are going to tell you about our own opinion about the abortion controversy. So for us, personally, uh, abortion is a really cruel thing to do to a baby. I mean, come on, can you imagine that? You are, you kill the fetus that has nothing to do with you having sex with your significant other. It's, it's like the, the result of you having sex with your partner, but then you don't want to be responsible of that baby because you're not ready, you don't have really good finance to uh, afford the baby's life or anything like that. So for us here, well, having sex is actually uh, a personal personal right to you. Well, if you wanted to have sex, you can do it, but you have to know uh, about the consequence of uh, having sex. So having sex will make you pregnant if you don't use any contraceptions or anything like that. So please do know about that. What we are concerned here is about that is that people want to have sex, but they don't want to uh, they don't want to take the responsibility of the baby that they have made in, inside of the sex uh, activity that they do. So um, what I'm going to tell you here is actually killing. Uh, I mean, abortion consists of killing human beings. Can you imagine that you kill a fetus? That's a really cool thing to do. So yeah, that's our personal opinion about abortion itself. Okay, now I want to uh, make a con conclusion. Abortion cannot be done with any single reason, even if some people say that abortion can be done safely without having negative effect or uh, without having a big effect, uh, or, or even it can help human from the taxpayers or being poor. Still, doing an abortion is wrong because it's against the humanity, it's against the morality, and it's against the faith of God. We as a human uh, consider as an embracing to do because it's so a culture that doesn't respect the humanity. Doing abortion can impact the life of the human after doing the abortion itself. If we continue doing abortion, or if we continue to support the abortion, to legalize the abortion, it means that we did a mistake. It means that, that that we support the generation without having a, such a responsibility. It means that there will be no such responsible generation in the future because because of our mistakes and it will affect the other generation in the future. So as students, as a, here, we are against the abortion. Uh, that's all about our presentation about controversial issues of abortion. Uh, thank you.